course, turn my GoPro off. That's exactly what happens. Midday report. We've gotten a couple fish. Um, one of them was like 15 inches. The other one was like 10. Well, maybe a little more. But small. Working this bluff wall where I've gotten some big fish before. Uh, we had one come up and hit an 8 inch glide this morning. I think if I think the GoPro actually got it, so hopefully we'll be able to check that out. Um, then I had another one two casts later. Um, follow it. Same place. Not quite as big as the first one. The first one actually ran up and nailed the bait and just somehow didn't get hooked and just turned right around afterwards so everything that we've caught today has been moving toss some jig around um, jerk bait if it wasn't moving it hasn't been touched fish are moving right now they're feeding they're perched up in places looking for food so we're gonna put a uh, put everything big on so I've got the got that nine inch clash um, tied on because they hit hit the eight and we're like you know one followed it but they were just either either not enough or too much so we'll go both directions so we got that and then I put on a 168 S waiver uh, both of them in kind of the light color we've got shad in here um, haven't seen any bluegill today so uh, just somewhat matching the hatch but uh to see if we can get a commitment off these uh, bigger fish off this wall. I'm sure they're sitting there. There's a real little breeze uh, coming through. Yeah, if it works, it'll be awesome. If it doesn't, it'll still be awesome. You know, I don't want to catch a bunch of little fish. I'm, I'm here to catch the bigger ones. Um, so if that means, you know, you only catch one or two fish a day, like that's, that's more fun to me. But uh, a lot of things kind of giving us hints We've been seeing stuff, the, the moving bait, um, we've got herring sitting out here on the point. So I mean like they're they're not out there just to look at the lake. But um we get back over here, that's the bluff wall on that far side over there. And so we're gonna check that out again, see if we can pull one off of it. And um if we do, hopefully it'll be on film. Bluegill was about to get smoked. I wonder what's the matter with those gills. Maybe that's why they're on this. Sir, 
please stay hooked, please stay hooked, please stay hooked. Oh, he's big. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, he's got it. Whew. Knew there was some on here. Knew there was some on here. Oh, man. Whew. That's exactly why we switched baits right there. After I saw that gill stuck like that. I don't know what's going on with them. But that's definitely why these things are doing this. So we weren't like feet from where we saw that gill, like just kind of an idle. So pretty cool. Nice glide bait fish right there. Let's see if we can get him out without getting stuck here. Good fish. Oh yeah. I knew he came up and got it. I wasn't sure how much he got. It's a little scared at first. This is 15 pound line I switched down to. But the, the bait change worked, man. Like, he wasn't going anywhere for sure.